let's learn about the repeated nearest neighbor algorithm. The repeated nearest neighbor algorithm is just like the nearest neighbor algorithm, but we apply that to every single vertex as a starting point. So our steps are do the nearest neighbor algorithm starting at each vertex and then choose the circuit produced with the minimal total weight. All right. So we already in a previous video applied this with starting at A. So we end up doing that A nearest neighbor was D had a weight of one. Then from D the nearest neighbor was C had a weight of eight, right? Then we went to B that had a weight of 13 and then B went back to A to continue this and that had a weight of four and this is a total weight of 26 just as a recap. So let's go apply that now starting at B. B our nearest neighbor for B is to A, right? We're going to A it's the nearest neighbor lowest weight so A that has a weight of four. Then from A, the nearest neighbor would be unvisited, we D, right, weight of one. Then from D, the nearest neighbor unvisited, we couldn't go back to B because that's where we started, we still have to hit C. So we went to C here, right, C, that's gonna give us a weight of eight, that edge. And then C brings us back to B as a weight of 13. And when we add all that up, 4, 1, 8, 13, that's the same as before, that gives us again a 26. All right, not any better. Let's go with C as a starting point. Start at C, the nearest neighbor to C is gonna be, well not D, not B, but A, has a weight of two here. So we go to A, two. Then from A, the nearest neighbor would be D, right here, right? Because B would be four, D is one, so D, one. Now from D, we've already been to C, already been to A, so to complete it, we have to hit B here. B is our next one here. So let's go to B. That's a weight of nine. So we went C, A, D, B. We then have to go back to C to complete the circuit because everything else we've been to, and that's a 13. And so the total weight here, two plus one plus nine plus 13, it's gonna be a what, the 25? All right, so we have a total weight of 25 here. Lastly, let's apply starting at D, and then we see which one was the lowest. So D here, smallest weight, Lowest weight would be going to A, nearest neighbor. That has a weight of one. Then from A, the nearest neighbor we have unvisited would be C, right here. So A to C, is a weight of two. So we went from D to A to C. I cannot go back to D because I haven't visited every single vertex. So now I have to go to B. And then from B, I hit everything now, I have to go back to D. Go back to D, that's a nine, and there we have it. And that has a total weight here of also a 25. So we have two here, two circuits that have the same weight of 25 and two is 26. And I still don't think that's the most optimal way. This doesn't always find the best circuit, but it's the method and something you can follow, a computer can follow to find a circuit here, a uh, Hamiltonian circuit, and it can help you um, find the, a lower weight. It doesn't always work, but that is the repeated nearest neighbor algorithm. I hope you learned about that. And as always, thanks for watching.